Hi there. Hello, apprentice.
about mixing up some food. Seems you've bloody... Ah! It's my pleasure. Please continue. Yes, you learned that it is the ruin now known as Malada. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Wonderful! You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you, if you are interested. A rather urgent one. This is not quite in your usual line of work, but I hope you can help me just the same. A rival collector has an item which I very much want to add to my collection, but she stubbornly refuses to consider any of my offers. She and I have had our differences over the years, I admit. Now she is taking this opportunity to get her revenge. I believe that you may be able to persuade her to part with the item, where I cannot do to her prejudice against me. Are you interested? Very good. I hope you will succeed where I have so far failed. Her name is Herminia Sinner. She lives here in the Imperial City, in the Elven Gardens district. She fancies herself a student of the Elliots, although she sadly lacks any aesthetic instinct whatsoever. Be that as it may, she has come into possession of an ancient relic known as the Crown of the Elliots. Your job is to acquire it for me. Here is more than enough gold to buy it at any reasonable price. You may keep whatever you do not use as your fee. Reputedly the crown worn by the last king of the Elliots. It deserves to be part of my collection. Very little is known of him, not even his name. He ruled the last Elliot city in Cyrodiil during the First Era, three centuries after the fall of White Gold Tower. The carving you recovered from Malada will be invaluable in my research on the late Elliot period. Goodbye. Hail, good citizen. You have.
Herminia Sinner, amateur scholar of the ancient elves, dabbler in the arcane arts. How can I help you? Take your time. The king of Nenalata is the last Aeliad king known to history, true. He appears to have ruled for centuries past the fall of all the other Aeliad kingdoms, if the ancient chronicles are to be believed. But there never was a single king of the Aeliads. Each city-state had its king, and their power waxed and waned over the years. The king of Nenalata was the last, simply because all the other kings had been destroyed or driven out of Cyrodiil. Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kavach, aren't you? The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? You want to buy my Aeliad crown? It isn't for sale at any price. I would think Umbakana would know that by now. Save your breath. He's the only one who knows I have it. He's tried to get it from me for years. I will never allow the crown to fall into Umbakano's hands. He is far more dangerous than you realize. Far from it. His interest in the aliens is not that of a mere scholar. He hopes to unlock the secrets of their magical power. And if you know anything about alien ruled Cyrodiil, that should make you very uneasy. I'm afraid I don't know for sure. I wish I had a more persuasive answer, but hear me out. The crown of the Aeliads which Umbakano wants is not simply an ancient work of art. It has certain superficial magic powers, true, but its real power is hidden. However, my studies of the ancient text make clear that it is the key to dangerous magical powers which should be left dormant. Yes, I understand. He wants an Aeliad crown, but does it have to be my Aeliad crown? What if you brought him another crown? My own research into the late Aeliad period suggests that there was not a single Aeliad ruler, but many. They were a bitterly divided people, with many warlords vying against each other for power. Their ultimate demise was wrought by their own civil strife, at least as much as by the rebellion of their human slaves. My crown, the one Umbakano covets, belonged to the ruler of Nenalata. I've learned of another crown, entombed with the last ruler of the rival city of Lindai. Since Umbakano has never laid eyes on the real crown of the Aeliads, I doubt he could tell the difference. In any case, the other is also a real alien crown, just not the right one. I think we could all sleep better if you brought him Lindai's crown instead of the crown of Nenalata. Here, I happen to have the key you'll need to enter the royal burial chamber in Lindai. I hope you'll make the right choice. I hope you'll make the right choice. Umbakanu must not have the crown of Nenalata. The Aeliad city of Lindai was a bitter rival to Nenalata, the city of the so-called Last King of the Aeliads. Umbakano may not be able to tell the difference between the crown of Lindai and the crown of Nenalata. It's at least worth a try. I know I don't want to find out what terrible power Umbakano could unleash using the crown of Nenalata. Be seeing you.
Greetings, apprentice. Hello, Gil.
You're not supposed to be in here. A pleasure to speak with you. Have you brought me the crown of the Aliens? Interesting. These markings are unexpected. The royal glyph is not as described by Sorkalin. But no matter. This is clearly authentic Aeliad workmanship. Later ages have never seen the like. To think that I hold the very crown that once graced the brow of the last Aeliad king. Even to gaze upon it would have been death to any one of the lesser races in the old days. I thank you again for your efforts. I have one final task for you, if you are still willing to face danger on my behalf. <laughs>